Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We do bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for his name is so powerful. He is our God, and he reigns forevermore. Glory be to God. He is in control of this entire world. We exhort his name. We honor his name. Glory be to God. We worship him in spirit and in truth, and we praise him. Glory to God. In him we live and have our being. In him we move, glory to God. In him we have our being, glory be to God. He gives us everything that pertains to life and godliness, glory be to God. He is supreme over all. He is mighty. He is powerful, glory to God. He is Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus the Christ, hallelujah, glory to God. And we give him the highest praise, which is hallelujah, 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 glory to God. So we want to welcome you on this powerful, powerful, sunny, bright Wednesday, February the night to midday glory. And we always want to start by recognizing our listeners. So we want to give a shout out and a thank you for our listeners that are right here in the United States of America, glory to God. And we thank you so much each week that you dial in to midday glory. And then we want to give a shout out and a thank you to the countries that we know that listen to, to Midday Glory, and that's India and Ghana and Morocco and Russia Federation, Czech Republic, Portugal, Spain, Mexico, Germany, and all the other countries that listen to Midday Glory. We want to thank you from the very bottom of our hearts for just supporting this ministry. Glory to God. It is such a blessing to know that we have supporters out there. Glory to God. We also want to acknowledge those who cannot dial in, but they listen to the broadcast later. So as a reminder, we want to let those who can have, that listen later that they can do it in, in several different ways. You can use our callback number, which is 267-807-9608. And the code is 732499-POW, or they can go on the website to Spreaker.com, and it's spelled S-T-R-E-A-K-E-R, and search for Reverend Dixon, or they can go on iHeartRadio, and it's all lowercase letters, iHeart.com, search for Midday Glory slash Reverend Dixon. Glory be to God. We do pray that you all are blessed by the word and prayer that God gives us every week. I truly, truly lean on the Lord for the word that he uh, desires to minister through me. Glory to God. And I desire with every ounce of my heart to be a vessel that the Lord can use. I humble myself, glory to God, before him. I pray for my ears to be anointed that I can hear his voice as he's preparing the word for every last one of us. Glory to God. I am always so in awe of God. His word reminds me so much of his awesome power and his awesome strength, glory to God. His word reminds me that no matter what we do or what we try to achieve, we can't do nothing without our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, glory to God. We know that God's ways is not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts, glory to God. He knows just what we need, hallelujah. And it's just so um, amazing that when we do spend time with the Lord, we discover his power and we feel his very presence with us. I'm telling you, the Lord, our God is real. Glory to God. God has um, actually, and I, I call my, I, I say it to myself that God is funny because I can actually sit before the Lord like on a Wednesday morning knowing that I've already prepared my message and I'm sitting and, you know, just looking over my notes and as I'm listening and, and, and I mean, I, as I'm reading over my notes and everything and I, I'm hearing the voice of God speaking to me and I began to change my notes, glory to God. And it just, it just fills me with joy that I'm once again in awe at God. He, he decreases my thoughts and he fills my mind with his thoughts, hallelujah, because I always want the message to be straight from the throne room of Christ's word of God. And just experiencing the presence of God, the power of God is speechless. And so when we surrender everything to the Lord, he, he will erase everything in our past, all the past hurts, all the abuse, all the lies, all the pitfalls, the pain, the stumbling blocks in our life. God will remove them. When we are truly in tune to God in spite of we know that God is truly in control of our lives. And when I say he will remove them, we don't forget them, but we don't, we don't allow them to be first in our lives anymore, glory to God. So when we worship him, he gives us strength like no other glory be to God. And you have to be in the very presence of the Lord in order to understand what I'm saying. 
So I thank God with all of my heart that he has actually the one that has given me this assignment as the host for Midday Glory. I'm grateful to God for giving me, Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, to be the host for Midday Glory. I desire with all of my heart to be pleasing in the eyesight of God, glory God. In this day and time, we need the Lord like never before, glory God. Each day we need to ask the Lord for forgiveness of our sins because we are sinners saved by his grace. So each day we need to ask the Lord to cleanse us and, and to make us whiter than snow. We, 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 we should have within ourselves that deep desire, that, that deep, intimate, personal relationship with him um, because it is so very important. We should desire more than just the knowledge of the word, but desire that intimacy with our Lord and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and that um, uh, desire, that power that can only come from him, glory be to God. We need to know the word of God. It's, it's conscious. We need to know that deep revelation of his word. If we just spend more time with him, God will give it to us. You see, just the knowledge of the word, just being able to quote the scripture or knowing, you know, the, this, that, and the other, the knowledge is not the power. The power is being active we do it of the word, allowing the word of God to be saturated in our lives, allowing the word of God to rule our lives. It gives us that spiritual power that we can only get from almighty God, glory to God. It gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. And it's so important to walk in obedience of God's word as believers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This ministry Midday glory, we pray without ceasing. Praying is the way in which we know how to communicate with God. And the word of God says that whatever we ask in prayer, believe that we have received it, and it is ours, glory to God. And I want you to know prayer has power, glory to God. We are to continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. God answers our prayers in his own time, and God is always on time. Hallelujah. So we pray for every one of you. We pray for this end time. We'll be wanting you to know that if you have a specific prayer that you desire midday glory to, to literally call your name out when we are in prayer, please send that prayer request to middayglory at gmail.com. We will pray for you. We will pray for your family, and we will pray for anyone that is connected to you. We will even pray for your enemies is what this ministry is all about. Because, see, we discovered in our years that prayer has power, glory to God. We discovered that prayer is so very important. We discovered that when we pray, we draw strength from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, glory to God. And we know that prayer changes things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we are so grateful that God has allowed us to continue with this subject, the heart of worship in this month of February. I have no idea when God is going to let this subject go because it's so important. We should have a desire to worship God deeply in our spirit. Glory to God. And we alone, he alone deserves our worship. When we worship, it changes the way we pray. Praise and worship brings God into the scenes. Glory to God. Worship and praise opens the gate of heaven and the doors of blessings. Glory to God. And worship and praise disseminates worry and it dilutes concern and fear. Glory be to God. Worship tarnishes sadness and it magnifies goodness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God has given us grace and the promise of eternal life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we're going to do a very quick review from last week as we were so so excited last week we started on Psalms 145, and last week we read all 21 verses of that psalm. We're not going to do that today, glory to God. So we said last week that the description of Psalm 145 has a song in the G major, and it reflects the fact that four major qualities of God's character begins with the letter G, and they are contained within the psalm. And, and the four is that God, his greatness his goodness, his grace, and his glory. And then we also discover that there are five characteristics of God emphasized in this psalm, and that God is good, that God is merciful, that he's praiseworthy, that he's gracious, and that he is a great God. Glory be to God. So we we, we, we started last week with discuss, discuss, or discussing these five distinct and character, distinct characteristics of Christ that King David had placed here in this psalm. So last week we discussed his greatness, and we said that the Psalms 145 verses 1 through 6 actually sums up 
Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. So in these first six verses, David emphasizes God's greatness. It says that he is worthy of his praise, glory to God. Then he says God's greatness more than anyone can fathom. God's greatness is so great that if all the small minds of the world were combined, they still could never understand God's greatness, glory to God. It is more than anyone can even imagine, glory to God. You see, there is only one God, hallelujah, and there is only one without sin, glory to God. There is only one that has all power in his hands, hallelujah. He is Jehovah. He's El Shaddai. He's a God that is more than enough, hallelujah. And we said also on last week that even Though verse 3 is not at the end of this psalm, but it has the theme for the entire psalm. It summarizes what the psalm is all about. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Glory be to God. This Psalm 145 is a powerful psalm. Glory to God. Then we, we um, said that the name of the Lord is so worthy of uneven blessings. Glory be to God. So that's a quick review from last week. So we want to share with you that David in this song that we uh we discovered that our God is king, that our God is great, that our God is Lord, that He's glorious, that He's a good God, that He's a righteous God, that He's a gracious God, that He's a merciful God. And we thank God that He is a patient God, glory to God. He's always abounding in steadfast love. He's impartial to his goodness, glory to God, satisfying providers and providing to all of us, glory to God. He has no respect of person. He is praiseworthy. He's a majestic sovereign, glory to God. He is all powerful. He is our sustainer. He is our comforter, and he is always near, glory to God. He is our Savior. He is our God. He protects us. He is our judge. No one can judge us but God, glory to God. He is holy, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God. So we're going to discuss today one of his characters on goodness, God's goodness. So verses 7 through 10, it summarizes the Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all that he has made. So God is not just um, sometimes, but he's all the time the Lord is good. So Psalm 105 says, but the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. And then Psalm 34, 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusted in him. Glory be to God. God has no respect of persons. He is not just good to some people, but our God is good to all. And Matthew 5, 45 says that they that we may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust glory to God. Jesus wouldn't allow anyone to call him good. And he said only his father is good. And I'm going to explain that. In Mark 10, 18, Jesus said unto him, why callest thou good? There is no one good but me, and no one good but one, and that is God. And when he said, why callest thou good? He was referring to the human flesh that he was subject to while he was walking on the face of the earth. And at the time, Jesus had not finished his mission, and it was still possible for him to make a bad mistake. He did not want to be called good if he might if he might still sin, glory to God. So the intent of the verse was to point out to the man that was questioning Jesus that his good works cannot earn his salvation. Jesus talking to the man, trying to explain to him that the good works is not going to earn your salvation. God alone is in heaven because he is good. And anyone else who gets into heaven, they, do, they, they don't do it. They don't go into heaven because they are good, but they go into heaven because God is good. Glory be to God. Our God is a merciful God. So we want to note here in talking about God's mercy that not one of us deserves God's mercy. We all have sinned, every one of us in our own way. All of, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So what we deserve is death, and what we deserve is eternal separation from the God who made us. But nevertheless, glory to God, it is the Lord's mercy, his great love for us, his unconditioned love that we are not consumed because his compassion fell not. We are so thankful that our God does not treat us as our sin deserves or repay us according to our iniquities, glory to God. Psalms 103, verses 10 to 13 says, he has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities, glory to God. Whereas the heaven is, is high 
above the earth. So great is his mercy towards them that fear him. Glory be to God. Glory to God. And it's by God's mercies that I were married, that we are saved, not by our works of our righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he has saved us, glory to God. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he worked, loved us, even when we were dead in sin, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye have been saved, glory be to God. It is of his great mercy. He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In fact, one of the very titles of God is the Father of mercy. Glory be to God. Over and over, the psalmist assures us that his mercy endures forever. As a matter of fact, he said it, that it is written 26 times in the book of Psalms that his mercy endures forever. His mercy is not only infinite, but it is eternal. We are blessed, glory to God. How can one possibly reject God's mercy? Or do we show content for the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and his patience, for not realizing that God's kindness is intended to lead us to repentance, glory to God. But it's sad to say that most people do. Instead, the divine instead the divine challenge is, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship, glory to God. We are not to be conformed to the pattern of this world, but we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, then we will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, his pleasing, and his perfect will. Glory be to God. This should be our logical response to God's great mercy, that we will worship him in spirit and in truth, that we will bow down in his very presence to worship him, that we will humble ourselves before a mighty God, a mighty clean. Why? Because he deserves the glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. We will bless your name, oh God. We will honor you and you alone, Lord God, for you are our God. We worship you, Lord God. We bow down in your very presence, Lord God. Hallelujah. We acknowledge, Almighty God, that you are Lord, that you are our Savior. You are Jesus the Christ, God. You are mighty, Lord God. You are powerful, Lord God. We exalt your mighty name, God. We extol you, God. You are our life, God. You are our salvation. Hallelujah. You are the King of kings. You are Lord. You are Jehovah. Glory be to God. You are El Shaddai. You are the all sufficient God. You are the God of the mountains, oh God. You are the God that's almighty, Lord God. You are more than enough, Lord. Glory to God. You are Emmanuel, Lord God. You are the God with us, the great I am. Glory be to God. You are the self-existent one. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Jireh, God. You provide everything that we need, Lord God. You are Jehovah El, Lord God. You are the God who sees us, Lord God. But you are omnipresent, Lord God, with us, God. You are the God who knows everything that there needs to know about us, God. You know more about us, oh God, that we know about ourselves, Lord God. You are omnipotent, all the powerful power is in your hand, oh God. You are everlasting, Lord God. You are our creator, God. Hallelujah. You are the God most high. Hallelujah. You are the strong, powerful one, Lord God. And we know that we can depend on you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are our great Lord, our master, our majestic Lord. Hallelujah. You are in total control, God. You have total authority in this earth, Lord God. Hallelujah. We choose, Almighty God, to worship you, Lord God. We choose, Almighty God, to put all of our trust in you, Almighty God. We choose, O Lord God, to look to the hills from which cometh our help. And we know, Almighty God, that our help coming from you, Lord God. You, you are the one, Father God, who is the beginning and the end, Lord God. You are the one that gives us strength, oh God, when we are weary, Lord God. We know that our problems are not bigger than you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. That's why we are learning, Almighty God, to cast all of our cares over to you, Lord God. For you are Jesus right in the midst of everything, Lord God. Your power never fails, oh God. You are faithful, Lord God. You are Jehovah Roha. You are the Lord God, our shepherd, Lord God. You are the righteous God. Hallelujah. You have removed our sins as far as the east is from the west and as far as the north is from the south, glory to God. You are truly our God of peace, hallelujah. We coming, Father God, with thanksgiving and praise, Father God, to your name, Lord God, for you have brought us through us so much, Lord God, hallelujah. And we come, Lord God, to thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord God. We come to thank you, Lord God, for your great mercy that is renewed every morning, glory to God. We pray, Father God, for those who do not know you in the pardon of their sins, Lord God. Lord God, it is your desire that none of us perish, Lord God. We pray for the sick, Lord God. We pray for those recovering from surgery, Lord God. We pray for those scheduled for surgeries, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for the homeless, Lord God. We pray, Father God, for our seniors, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for those in the hospital. 
hospitals, oh God, whatever disease that they're going through, God, we pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We continue to pray for government leaders, oh God, to pray for all who are in leadership, oh God, that they will allow you to God, guide them, Lord God, in every decision that they have to make, Lord God. We pray for our children continually, Lord God, that you will keep them safe, God. We pray for those who are going through a bereavement right now, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we desire, Lord God, to lean not on our own understanding, Lord God, but we desire, mighty God, to acknowledge you in all of our ways, God. For we know, oh God, that our ways are not your ways, neither are our thoughts your thoughts, Lord God. We know that we must, Father God, trust in you in every ounce of our being, Lord God. The world as we see it, Lord God, is in a turmoil, Lord God, but there is peace that surpasses all understanding where we learn to lean on you, almighty God. You are with us wherever we go. Glory to God. Thank you for your power to stand for us to stand strong, Lord God, no matter what the circumstances are, Lord God, that are going on in our lives, God, we choose, Almighty God, to worship you, Father God, through it all, Lord God. We choose, Almighty God, to worship you, and we will bless your name at all times, Lord God. We will not be disturbed, Lord God, by increases in and grocery bills and increases in gas and all of these things that are going on because we, you said, God, that you should, we should not worry, Lord God, about tomorrow, but tomorrow, Almighty God, will take care of itself. Glory be to God. Daily, Lord God, we are to wake up exhorting your name, praising your name, trusting that you are our provider, glory to God, supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Lord God. We humble ourselves to hear your instructions, your directions for our life. You are a mighty in battle, Lord God, and you win every battle, Lord God. And as we give it over to you in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we are so grateful and so thankful, Lord God, to know you in our lives as our personal Savior. We bless you, Lord God. We honor you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. And we say amen, amen, and amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We want to thank you so much for tuning in to Midday Glory today. Hang in there with us, glory to God, as God continues to allow us to share his five characters, glory to God, in the book of Psalm 145. God bless you. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.